Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is the Danator2003 and I'm here to speculate what the Ford Bronco will look like for the year 2020. Um, as you guys can see here, this is an image of the rendering of a uh, Ford Bronco. This is what I think the Ford Bronco will mainly look like in the year 2020. Um, I'm not saying that all the other images that people have been spouting like this one and this one are incorrect. I'm only saying that this is the most accurate image out there. I mean, Ford could go this direction. They could. But I doubt they would go this direction, though. Because, as far as I know, this is just a photoshopped image. So is this one. But, but the main thing I see of this is becoming is this. I actually think Ford is going to produce this in the year 2020 with this exact nameplate and exact design. This looks more accurate than the than this or or this. But yeah, this looks more accurate than those two. Or even this. And this and this. And this, and this, and this. This looks the best accurate, in my opinion. I think Ford would probably go for this design. My reason why is because, you know, Ford's been notorious since the last decade. The last Bronco was in 96. Here, let me pull up an image to show you. See what I mean? Ford... Ah! No. Ford could actually go for this design. Of course it wouldn't be exactly like this, but it would be something quite close. I can actually see Ford doing. Bringing back the old icon... No, this is not what Ford will be doing. Everyone who's rumoring this may be... may be wrong. Heck, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But seriously, though, this is what I think Ford may do. They may do this, but except it would be in a better design form. Like the image I had shown earlier. Of the, of the rendering concept. Concept rendering. I think this is what Ford will most likely be, be producing. This is what I see the Ford company producing in 2020. My reason why is because... This design right here looks so accurate. I mean, whoever rendered this, which I think is Bronco C... I think Bronco... Here, Bronco 66... Uh, something Bronco 66. Um, yeah. Great job on the rendering. If you're watching this video, great job. This is what Ford may be producing. And I hope the Ford Bronco looks like this. Because if it does, good job, Ford. If not, then... I mean, even if it doesn't look like that, it will still be pretty cool. But it would be so cool if it looked like that. Because I'd be buying that in like a few minutes. Like, if I were old enough to drive right now, I'd go right down to the Ford dealership and buy that. But, some people, here's what the news articles are saying. Some people are saying it's going to look like, hold on, like, like this. That is not what it's going to look like. It's not going to be a cut down F-150. Because first off, Ford's not even planning to do an F-150 Bronco. Second of all, that is inaccurate because the Ford Bronco is going to be based off of the Ford Ranger platform. So this is not anything to do with the Ford Bronco whatsoever. So I don't know why somebody even rendered this if it's going to be inaccurate. 
I mean, I'm not shaming whoever rendered this at all. I'm just saying it's inaccurate because Ford is not going to do this 100%. I know that for a fact. Because, according to a future article, it says it's going to be based off the Ford Ranger platform. And as we know, the Ford Ranger platform is basically going to be going to be pretty much pretty much this it's going to be that so why would the F150 be that why would the Bronco be be a F150 cut down if the platform's going to be a Ranger i mean if Ford could do an F150 Bronco Ranger which i doubt they could be doing then i can see that happening but why would it be uh, F-150 platform. That doesn't make any sense. So whoever rendered that is saying, oh, Ford's going to make the F-150 platform beat a Bronco. No. What's happening is the Ford Ranger is going to be the Bronco, kind of. The platform, the chassis is going to be on the Bronco, just a different body. I don't understand who came up with the F-150 Bronco, but it's that's incorrect. Okay, Ford said themselves, quote, from the UAW, I am going to be making the Ford Bronco into a Bronco Ranger, meaning that the chassis of the Ranger will still be the same, but f taken from the, from the Ranger. And the Ford itself said the Ford Bronco will be on the Ranger chassis, meaning that the Ranger will still have its own chassis, but the Bronco will be on the Ranger chassis just with a different body. So whoever said the F-150 Ford Ranger is incorrect because if Ford were to go the direction of making an F-150 Bronco, they'd have to use the F-150 chassis. That would not make any sense. Although it'd be cool to see an F-150 Bronco hybrid, it wouldn't make any sense. Because, I mean, the Bronco back in the 1970s didn't even use the kind of modern Ranger chassis. Or maybe it did. I don't know. But I don't think the Ford Bronco F-150 is going to be accurate. And I don't see Ford going with that design at all. Here's why. Ford Bronco. 1970. The original Ford Bronco in the 1960s was much smaller than the concept. Ford Bronco concept. Meaning that Ford could make this a bigger vehicle. Ford could actually do that. Oh, by the way, this is not happening. Ford confirmed this already. This is not going to be happening. But uh, this will be... I mean, Ford could go with this design. I do actually see Ford producing this design. This design is very clear, very good. And whoever in six, Bronco66.com did a really nice job in, in rendering this. So yeah guys, that's why I disagree with the Ford F-150 design. And let me just pull that up real quick. Ford Bronco. F-150. The reason why I disapprove of this design is because Ford would have to use the F-150 chassis. Okay, then that would be messed up if Ford were to use that. Use the F-150 chassis instead of the Ranger chassis. Now, like I said, although it would be cool to have a F-150 Bronco, I don't think Ford would really go with the F-150 Bronco because, to be honest, they're two separate cars. Why would you make an F-150 chassis and then slap a body Bronco on there? You'd have to modify the whole chassis, possibly. And you wouldn't even be going with the Ranger. So, okay, imagine if Ford were to not use the Ranger. 
and Ranger were to stay its own separate vehicle, and Ford were to use the 2016 F-150 body. That would be the most messed up thing in the world, because you'd have to modify literally the whole chassis to fit the Bronco body. So I don't understand why, why whoever rendered that first image would even think of this. Oh, and by the way, um, the, um, the Ford F-150 based Bronco isn't really gonna be real, because there's no way Ford could do that. There's just no way. No way at all. And that is the main reason why I disagree with this rumor slash image. Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. Goodbye.